you know, the first thing you're gonna notice when you drive down Proctor is those quaint little shops. Yeah, quaint little shops. And so if you're into spending some time meandering around, I actually really like to meander around at art studios. I like to go to art shops just because it's fun. I'm always amazed by people that are very talented at things like painting or catching just the right glimpse with photography, uh, sculpting, all of that, because I have zero skills and then possibly <laughs> a negative skill set in that. Hey, do you want to know more about the Proctor District? Well, good news. We're going to give you a tour and let you know about all the important features that are in that wonderful district. We're Joan Charity with the Livewell Home Group, and if you're thinking about buying or selling in this area or any other area in Washington State, we're here to help. We've made it easy for you to connect with us. Just click the link in the description below and get a scheduled time on our calendar. So why do people like to live in Proctor? Well, that's a good question. And do you know? I do know. You do know the answer. I think the number one reason is because of charm. Yeah, what it is think? a very charming community. Absolutely. It's charming. It's the architecture that has been around for a long time. It's different. It's unique. It varies. Uh, and so if you're into that type of variety, it really is charming. So if it you're is. going on your walks, which is the next part, I think is walkability. walkability. That is for sure because yeah. it's got all the quaint shops that are there. We're going to show you all those quaint shops. Yeah, but. you're just but the walkability, which lends itself into, I think probably the third reason is the urban charm of its community. It's its own neighborhood within Tacoma. It's very distinct. It's got these unique features that people are really drawn to. And if you're drawn to a walkability, charm, cute shops, then you're probably gonna love it. So let's dive into those areas. Let's do it. So as you were talking about the larger area of Tacoma, mm -hmm. if you're not from Washington at all, you're gonna to wanna to take a look that this is Tacoma yep. and even back farther. <laughs> There's a lot of Tacoma. Yeah. So finding a place that feels like it's home and a little neighborhood is what's really appealing. So yeah. we zoom in and yep. we get all the way here to this Proctor area. Yep. So, you know, the first thing you're gonna notice when you drive down Proctor is those quaint little shops. Yeah, quaint little shops. And so if you're into spending some time meandering around, I actually really like to meander around at art studios. I like to go to art shops just because it's fun. I'm always amazed by people that are very talented at things like painting or catching just the right glimpse with photography, uh, sculpting, all of that because I have zero skills and then possibly a <laughs> negative skill set in that. Uh, that's why I love watching, looking at those. And there's tons of art uh, art galleries and one of them is um, the Proctor Art, <laughs> art Gallery. So I just kind of like, easy. it's easy it's to easy. remember they that. make it so you don't forget. Local artists, they're continually changing what's in the, in the studio. So uh, it's a great place to visit and you just kind of reoccurringly go back until you find the right piece for you. And speaking of that, we'll tell you more about the Art Fest mm -hmm. later. So lots of focus on art there. One of the shops that you may not be as fond of <laughs> as I am is the Upscale Resale shop there, which is awesome. Yeah. I don't think you've ever been there before. I haven't, but if I were to go there, I would go there with a cup of coffee and Olympia coffee roasters. We're not talking about coffee yet. Oh, I thought we're we were, because it feels like I would want to go to the shop, the right. coffee shop, to carry around a cup of coffee, because that's important. There's also a good me. Goodwill, upscale Goodwill, which is, you know, bougie, yes, goo. it is bougie bo Goodwill. Bougie Goodwill, which it's once again, shopping. I need coffee for to fully engage into right. that reality. And as we are <laughs> meandering through the shops that you may find more appealing. Compass Rose. Compass Rose. Compass Rose has really great things for your home, decorative, mm -hmm. yeah. things that you didn't know you needed before you got there. And then once you get there, you realize, <laughs> I think I needed that. And if I didn't need it, I now own it. So, right. <laughs> <laughs> but it will be great in your new home in the Proctor area. Right, right. So <laughs> lots of fun shops. Uh, there's a little Northwest shop there. Mm -hmm. So if you need some, if you're moving there and, mm -hmm. or you're visiting and you need something to take home to your friends or mail to them, then all the Northwesty. Mm -hmm. Funny yeah, cute stuff. things. The fun you know. things. Probably a little little things in Bigfoot that'll be there. Right. Just there, there's quite quite always something Bigfoot in Bigfoot items, Mount if Rainier items. Yeah. Sure. All those good things. All the Northwesty things. All so the, the shops. Things. And now let's talk about coffee. Mm. Where is it that you like to go? Well, Olympia Coffee Roasters. They have a local shop there in the Proctor District. And if you're like me, if you're going to start off, you want to test the quality of a coffee shop, you test their Dopio to see Dopio Espresso, to see what it's like. And if it's good, then it's probably a good place to get. And you will not be disappointed. I know I love it, so don't waste it on the Americano. Don't 
don't water no, it now. No, we're talking about coffee too much. So <laughs> the reason you would go to that coffee shop would be to get the baked items. I mean... That's what's important for those of us who don't drink coffee. Yeah, so yeah, make sure you stop in for some coffee as you're meandering. Yeah, and then know. you may want to get some, some grub. So speaking of food and eating, what's one of your favorite spots to go? Well, I'm going to give you two, Peaks okay. and Pints and Cook's Tavern. And so, notice both of yours have alcohol involved with <laughs> Saying that in case you happen to like a good beer that goes along with your food. And sometimes if you're like me, you just want it to go along with whatever food choice you have. You're going to get a couple varieties of food options, but you're also getting some good selections for you to just kind of meander, hang out, okay. slow okay. meals with friends. Good. Yeah. Good stuff. I mean, they have a lot of options. They've got, if you want Italian, Pomodoro, mm -hmm. yeah. which you know there's always got to be a good italian restaurant it really does every every community needs a good italian restaurant yep. and there you have one yeah absolutely and normally what happens um with us when we're out on a date is it ends in ice cream it does uh, ice yeah. cream social is there and usually there's a line yeah. out the door because ice cream is the best part of the day and so this is where we differ i go back to coffee she goes to ice cream it's a happy Mary medium. medium. Happy it's medium. a happy place to medium. <laughs> right. <laughs> so besides that, there's, you know, cactus and yep. so many other restaurants. South, southwest there. Mm -hmm. Yep. You're I'll moving from Texas or the South and you, there's an option for you. Spice it up a little bit. Oh, and Waffle Stop. Don't oh. forget Waffle Stop because... You gotta stop for waffles. You, you can get the sweet ones, you can get the savory, savory ones, yes. you can eat them all day long. And all night, all night too, <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> so when you're looking for something fun to do. Fun to do. Gotta go to the Blue Mouse Theater. Yes, if you like old second run movies and maybe some ending classics, this is gonna be a place for you. And even for example, what's playing currently? Rocky Horror Picture Show. There's yep. nothing more classic than that. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, <laughs> It once you can now see it multiple times yeah. <laughs> and then they have recent movies too yeah. Yeah, and you can rent the theater yeah so yeah. have a big party there with friends it's yep. pretty cool and yeah. then if you want to stand up and get a little active Move what little would bit. you do i would go bowling go bowling at yeah. chalet bowl did you know first of all that both of these things the blue mouse theater and yeah. also chalet bowl are like the longest continuing bowling alley and theater in all of washington state <laughs> that's awesome that's kind of a fun fun little tidbit fun for you Fun fact, yeah, fun but fact. bowling is shallow. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I tell you this much, as far as understanding that sometimes college is a waste, I actually had a bowling class, which possibly is why I'm so much better than charity, but also why I possibly wasted some money in college. So <laughs> That's right. That was... <laughs> but fun nonetheless. <laughs> a lot of fun. A lot of fun. <laughs> so, absolutely. So um, as we had mentioned before, mm -hmm. there are all kinds of events that go on. There are. There's summer events. The, the market actually will run basically the last part of March all the way through until mid-December. And so the, the market there, it's really fun. It's got lots of local artisans. It's gonna have lots of little jewelry. It's gonna have little specialty shops, meats, cheeses, the whole, it baked really is the basic Again. baked goods, the whole nine yards. It's all in there. It's really fantastic because not all markets are fantastic, but theirs really is. The, yeah, this farmer's market this is This is great. farmer's market is absolutely wonderful. So. And I know that probably because this community has such a love for gardening, there's mm. several community gardens in the area, which yeah. sure people are bringing their flowers and their vegetables and things yeah. and selling them right there which is really yeah. cool really yeah food to table farm to table farm, farm food to table food to, food to, to, to mouth, mouth. <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> and then as we mentioned before the arts fest mm -hmm. that arts happens fest. in the summer as yeah. well and there's like 160 artisans over 10,000 people come to visit yeah kids stuff happening. kids stuff yeah live kids music. areas live music it is over all the top all kinds of cool stuff really wonderfully done yeah, in fact absolutely. um part of being the community you get to actually you know you can look at their uh, community events calendar mm -hmm. and you can stay on top of things that are going on this is a really yeah. great way to connect with people in your community go for a fun run on mondays you yeah. know all kinds of things just so you don't miss anything and gives you it's that that whole community yeah vibe. it's the whole community vibe the whole community field is really focused on it specifically in the middle of the greater tacoma area yeah. so if that's something you're that's your vibe then proctor district might be just for you exactly and you know so um, if you got little kids, 
Mm -hmm. uh, it's a great area Ooh, for schools. Great area for schools and the zoo. I'm not saying that your kids oh. are a zoo, but <laughs> mine were when they were young. <laughs> well, there's a point to find zoo, so you could go just down a there. Little, there's a little bit north. We'll yeah. take you up there. We're yeah. gonna take a little, the little drive. Little sore, just here right up here. Point right to find there. zoo, the aquarium. It's really just a neat area to meander around with your cup of coffee uh, <laughs> and enjoy just the northwest. So I, I think you're also it's awesome. let's take a little walk down here. You're also close to Point Rustin, mm -hmm. Point which Rustin. is fantastic as well. So there's so much, yes, so much. It's not obviously right yes. in the neighborhood, but you're super close, which is why people love it. And the commuting is easy because yeah. you're like 10 minutes, you're on the freeway, yeah. right on to, you know, whatever direction you need to go. Yep, whatever direction. The Where one we thing are. we didn't say about shopping is the grocery shopping, which you always need groceries when mm -hmm. you live in an area. Mm -hmm. And besides Safeway, there's Metropolitan Market, which yeah. You love Metropolitan Market if you've mm -hmm. been there before. Yes. It just has all the goods and yes. they look much better than they do in any other grocery store. <laughs> they do. <laughs> it is charming. It, it is, is charming. charming. <laughs> it is a great, great place to be. So I thought you may want to, we thought you may want to look around some at some of the houses yeah. that are in this area so you can kind of get available. a feel for what's available. What's and the price part. ranges. Yeah, for sure. So here we go. We've got, this is the last um, six months. These are houses that have sold or are for sale. And as you can see, the prices start at 330 and go up to... Yeah. 2.1 oh, oh, million. Yeah. 2 million. And when we're talking about the 330, that honestly is your fixer upper. That's if you want to have a lot of sweat that you're going to put into <laughs> to create equity in your home, it's there. We've done it over the years. And so it is an option. So if you're very adventurous of spirit uh, and think somehow HGTV is real, um, then or that you can be. That you can be. It's real, as HGTV. As yes. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's, it, they're very, there's opportunity there. Not as much, obviously, because it's such, it is a very desirable area. But let's jump in on one of the homes. Here. This is really one that's priced basically kind of the lower yep, the entry, entry, entry into the area. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, it's around 1,300 square feet, mm -hmm. two bedroom, 1.75 bath, but mm -hmm. it's all redone. So yeah. let's take a look and show you what you could get in this area for 550. Mm -hmm. Cute little entryway up to the front door. I like Absolutely. that you've got a covered garage Carport. of sort mm. yep yep a little patio over the top of that for your coffee pleasure but kind of coming into it this is this is when they've been redone this is just a great example of something that's been done really cute uh, they've opened up the kitchen here the kitchen has got wonderful little cabinets nice little eating space uh, off to the side there it's it's really it's a galley style but it's adorable in my mind for for what you're looking at at kind of the entry level into this community this is classic the other thing i really do like about this i'm going to highlight is i love it when they redo fireplaces like this and brighten it up sometimes fireplaces could be very heavy in a maybe a smaller room but when it's done like this it brightens it up keeps it alive so you'd be able to really enjoy it and it's nice and clean because it's gas <laughs> very now. clean very very clean and, and i uh, like how they put the um, outlets yeah. up here so you can yeah. put a TV up there yeah, which sure. you know it's a little bit smaller space but you don't need a ton of space if you've got everything arranged properly Correctly. yeah expansion of that this is my little nooks and this is great because this is sometimes you know when, when we're talking about it, homes of this era sometimes I have little nooks and crannies and this is just a great little use of the nooks and I'm always amazed by how often like in our own home we use little nooks like that we sit down have coffee chat about things right and just lounge or honestly most of the time just do work so here <laughs> Here's one of the bedrooms, mm -hmm. nice and bright. I love how bright this house is. Yep. Looks like there's plenty of closet space. Cute little shower, nice little bathroom. Mm -hmm. Yep, Looks redone. Like Mm -hmm. Plenty of space in here. Yeah, absolutely. Another bedroom, and it's just super cute, nice and bright. And there's all your second bathroom. So, updated. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, a lot of times, with, especially the square footage in an older home, you're only going to get one bathroom. Yeah. So it's really fantastic. It's really nice to have that. Built. And, and this is cute. It is backyard. You're going to have options to do with it as you want, but that's kind of like if you're a little bit of adventurous, your backyard is there for you to be able to make it. One thing about it is those trees. <laughs> you could work around those trees in a those good are way. Beautiful. Those are those are really beautiful. Great place. Great. Thing. All right, let's take a look at the next one up. Next kind of price the next point price up. up. It's mm -hmm. uh, 689000 and it's a little bit bigger, 1,948 square feet. This one has also been remodeled, which is great. You're going to get houses in there that, that need work, but there are a lot of people that have fixed them up because there's a lot of pride in the community and yeah. a lot of pride in the homes there. So yeah. obviously 
Very nice curve appeal. Yeah, very nice little charmer. Mm -hmm. and you kind of come in and this is where, especially as we kind of go through this, a nice little entryway here that you'll have, you know, space to put your things. It's going to transition to your stairs to the upstairs as well. But as you look at this, it is super cute. This is nice and open and airy. They've done a really great job. It's really cute. Uh, living space then goes back to your dining space. It I like how really, they've updated, mm -hmm. but made it look really classic. These are very classic looking light fixtures yeah. and painted the fireplace like you were saying in the yeah. other one so that it just brightens it up in yeah, there and it up. built ins that's that's one of the greatest things about the older houses is yeah. you get all the little built-ins. The charm. It really is that nook and cranny and the charm of built of the era. And they've done a good job really tightening this up and, and really making a beautiful home. Lots of space for your dining table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're gonna jump into the kitchen here, which is really cute. This is what I love about this kitchen is it has those doors to the back patio. So you have lots of space there that you can kind of just flow out into your outdoor space. Nice little galley kitchen here. It's done really well with the pantries, built-ins, all of that. They've used the space really well and if that's if you like that type of charm it's not like the brand new perfect cookie cutter any of that type of thing this has so much charm and nuance and how they've worked with the original structure and made it i think honestly very nice they've yeah, done a fantastic tons job of cabinet here. space yeah really especially nice with stuff. that pantry that mm -hmm. they built in yeah really nice space and then we're going to go ahead and kind of look at the back view here it's a nice little back little half little bath room and we've got some little this is a, a Quaint little bedroom, and it's got little, you know, nooks and crannies again. Mm -hmm. Yep, nooks and crannies. Utilize the space. I love this. I love they've the built-ins. Built yeah, the built-ins that they've included into the architecture of the home. Nice little updated bathrooms. <laughs> I love the colors. It's it's charming. It is charming. Yeah. There's Cute. another bedroom. Mm -hmm. This one's got office. Mm -hmm. kind of double usage there and yep. third bedroom. Yep, absolutely. Well, looks like you got a little view out there. You do too. have a little bit, a little peekaboo. Mm -hmm. Nice little backyard. It's got your pergola, it's got your backyard, uh, your deck, all of the things for entertaining and space. It and that is... grass looks nice and fresh, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's move on to the next one. This one yeah. is 870, so Oof. we're moving up a bit. 2,800 square feet, four bedroom, two bath, but oh my goodness. Yeah, so this one's again getting into the Quintal Central Charm. All of these different types Charm, but this front entryway is off the charts. The craftsmanship is absolutely you know, amazing. Look at that door. And so <laughs> the whole entry, all that, everything about it. Love, love, love everything uh, about it. This is cove. Oh, ceilings. ceilings. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Fireplace is beautiful. It's got nice size space here. You know, as we've got up in price range, you'll notice that the living spaces begin to increase in size. This is once again, an example of that. Very charming. Very so well yeah, done. So and well obviously done. they've done something new here with the fireplace, but they kept the, the classic charm. nature of mm -hmm. it and then made it so it's Really good craftsmanship updated. here. Yeah, I'm kind of looking back from the other side and then we're gonna go right over here to the dining space and then that's gonna lead into the kitchen. And this is really great. So now we have larger space here in the kitchen. You got a bigger, really obviously done well. It's got a nice island, great prep space uh, for entertaining. Uh, this is this is great. Yeah, it's beautiful quartz countertops. And I mm -hmm. like how they kept all the colors of the cabinets warm and it yep. ties back into the antique. So yeah. it really goes really well with this yeah, house. Absolutely fantastic. And then we're gonna start looking at some of the bedrooms here. It's one of the bedrooms. This is so cute to me. Okay, I'm just like, this is like perfect Classic, for it looks kids. like a grandma's house. It does, but this is like a kid's bedroom. This is great. They've done such a fantastic job keeping the original charm and updating it, so. Yep, yeah. look at those tiles as you go up the stairs. And for those that might remember phones, <laughs> Telephone. Like telephone of the house, that's a plug in. That would be a classic spot for the telephone. That's right, because everybody could access it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this is your upstairs area, which is great because it's flex space. You could use this a lot of different ways. But the great thing about this, as you're going to notice here in a minute, is that it actually has a bathroom upstairs and a full bathroom upstairs. Not all rooms, uh, all upstairs have that, but this one does. So lots of options for a flex space, for mm -hmm. bonus room to just extra bedroom or a primary space if that's how you want to use it. This one has a basement too. It's much cleaner. Yep. Yep. So yep. it feels like you could be down there and do some things. I mean, if you if wanted to, indoor space, however you want to use it. Studio well, or updated. something. Oh, and this but is here. your back <laughs> This is where you want to be. This oh, is yes. beautiful. Beautiful It takes backyard. time for all of this to grow in. So it's not like you could just manufacture this overnight. Yeah, this that is, is a mature landscape in every right way to use that. It is mature. It is charming. It is gorgeous. Yes. Nights of coffee and lounging with friends. And you got and your little garage on yep, the alleyway. Garage outside. off the alleyway, which is perfect. 
Yeah. All right, and then we're jumping up. Our last one we're gonna look at is this $2.1 million one here, mm -hmm. 3,900 square feet. And this one is a newer property, so you can get some newer properties there. Mm -hmm. And this one has a gorgeous view. Yeah, this is really, at this price point, this is classic. It's a little bit of what I would kind of consider the Northwest modern, to where it uses some of the uh, kind of more Northwest feel like the darker wood tones that outdoor are kind of blended hmm? the outdoor warm tone yeah the outdoor warm tones stone. it's got stone that's tied together in certain areas of the country you'll you'll experience it maybe all white or in that type of way this is really classic northwest i love this type of look very open really well done great kitchen obviously your views are just always going to continue it's been stunning. really yeah stunning designed well the window space all of that is gorgeous your kitchen it's got upgraded appliances i can use that, can yeah. use that. that would be nice yeah, yeah this is great this is just nicely done in every way tons of cabinet tons space. of cabinet space we have a primary primary room this is all that bank of windows yeah uh, look at that if you pull back all of those curtains gorgeous. that is a huge gorgeous, gorgeous amazing view. view amazing i view. could i could know we get there every yeah, day wake up there. And then... a little fireplace to keep warm on the cold winter nights that we get here the rainy drizzly days you will stay warm and, and this is really you know. honestly this is like a luxury hotel this is a luxury your hotel. Tub this is your suite. right there. It's yep. like a whole luxury suite. You don't yep. have to go anywhere. On this vacation. is staycation right here. There's no reason Walk -in to leave. Walk-in shower, mm -hmm. big really. soaker tub. Yep, all of the things that you would want and, and it, expect, honestly, to a home like this. <laughs> it's just the price point of what you're looking at. You have all the amenities that you would truly want. You got extra space here for your office as well as just entertainment. When you have either you know parties or whatever it might be for entertaining, networking, Imagine all of that is going to be used. Playing pool. With with that view there yeah. that's that's a yeah. nice day yeah absolutely one of the restrooms yep bonus space bonus for space. workout workout and outdoor Ooh. spaces cup of coffee lounging with the fire cocktails with friends whatever more it might views, be more the fireplaces views, expansive yeah, this is amazing property yeah. so so that's what you you're know. getting at that t over two million in the in the proctor district it's got all levels i mean this is what's really fun about that you do have a fixer upper at 350 up to two million but when you're in a community like this it has all the things that you're looking for if you want an urban community that's really just matured and become its own and this is just gorgeous that's why so many people love to live there it's the charm you do have a little bit of an eclectic blend for costs from you know we're talking about 550 to get into up over the two million so it's got a wide range of opportunities for people depending on which price point is we're joan charity with the live well home group and if you're thinking about buying or selling in this area or any other area in washington state we're here to help we've made it easy for you to connect with us just click the link in the description below and get a scheduled time on our calendar if you found this tour helpful and you want to learn more about other areas, then make sure you press the subscribe button.